Yo, what's to it, motherfuckers? It's your boy, DA. So earlier in the week, um, I shot a live about the meme that's gaining hella traction that says men are um, emotionally attracted to men and only sexually attracted to women. Um, here, let me put these windows up so y'all can hear me a little bit better. Uh, let me give you the main contributing reason. And I just posted about it, but I definitely want y'all to share this thing, man. Um, get this thing moving around because we, we really need to talk about this. This is one of those ones. The main contributing factor why men aren't emotionally attracted to women is because anytime we give women our deepest, darkest emotion about anything, about anything, women often, I won't say always, I won't say all women, but women often weaponize that dark emotion in an argument with us. What women fail to realize, what a lot of people fail to realize is all of us, vast majority, not all of us, the vast majority of us grew up without fathers. And those of us that did have fathers growing up, you know, in, in the generation in which we are, that 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 30 to, to 42 era, um, our fathers had to work two and three jobs just to make ends meet. So we weren't being parented the way that we needed to be parented. Obviously, if you didn't have a father, you had a mother who was working two jobs, you definitely weren't getting the parenting that you need. Um, so based on the fact that a lot of us didn't have that emotional connection, that, that kind of masculine, um, go around of, you know, Hey, this is how you handle things. This is how you deal with your emotions instead of lashing out emotionally all the time. A lot of us didn't have that, especially men. So in these relationships that we're getting into with these women, when we often don't show that emotional side of things. That emotional understanding, I'm sorry, forgive me, that's the baby back there. When we often don't show that emotional understanding to hurting a woman, um, and we're, we're not opening up, you know what I'm saying, giving a woman, you know, what she thinks she deserves in the conversation, or that apology that, you know what I'm saying, had you been raised right, you would have been able to afford. Women often weaponize your deepest, darkest emotions that you've shared with her to get a rise out of you. Women say, oh, well, men do that too. Well, it's a learned behavior. Um, and I'm not saying that in every instance it's a learned behavior, but you have to understand that in a sense, how women are claiming that men are so emotional in this day and age, we're only emotional because we're dealing with a world full of women. We were raised by women. We are only dating women. So when we're coming into these situations where you know I have to express myself, especially if I didn't have a father, what other way would I know to express myself other than the one, the way that I was taught by my mother, grandmother, aunties, or whatever the case may be, because a lot of men weren't around, uncles and things of that nature. So you have to understand when you start to weaponize the things that I tell you, I shut down. Now I'm not telling you nothing else. I have nothing else for you. I have no emotional connection to talk to you about. Now all we are is sex. That's all we are is sex. And then after we've been together for so long, guess what? The comforts of us being together makes me not even want to offer you sex. I'm now just giving you sex to get off of a nut, period, to go to sleep, to, to satisfy you because you're complaining because we're not, because what, what Drew Hill say? Because we're not making love. No, you know what I mean? That's the only reason why we're doing it. So that emotional attachment, it detaches itself and then all I do got is my homeboys because what they gonna do, they gonna listen to me because they're not being listened to in their relationship. I'm not being listened to in my relationship. So I'm sitting here having this conversation with my boy. It's absolutely nothing wrong with it. What is really turning this conversation on the head? Excuse my language, Facebook, but you stupid, ignorant bitches. And I say that in front of my daughter with conviction because y'all keep turning, well, anything emotional has to turn physical. That's not the case, man. That's not the case. Listen, I'm not saying that men don't have physical attractions to men. Obviously, we have homosexuality. Um, but a lot of things that's happening in this day and age, man, plays a part off the drugs that a lot of these cats is taking. You know what I'm saying? Um, being excessive alcohol drinkers and popping pills and so on and so forth. Outside of that, hey, if they are who they are, allow them to be that. That's why you have these down low brothers. That's why you have these brothers who got to play the tough role and they can't come out from behind the shadows because you're weaponizing his sexuality against him. 
Meanwhile, we are we are as men to accept y'all being lesbians or bi or I just wanted to be curious. We have to be cool with y'all fucking other women. But when a man decides that he wants to be with a man and I'm not, man, listen, I don't even have to get into any of that because I am who I am. My, my sexuality is proven. I, I have no issues. But y'all keep pushing this thing off, man. Like it's the most horrible thing. But if you continue to force these men into the shadows, that's where they're going to go. That's where they're going to stay. And they're going to hide there, hiding behind them true selves because you're not accepting them. Y'all got to stop doing that, man. It's bullshit. And this is why they don't come to you. Because if I were to come to you and say, oh, I had a sexual experience with a man. Oh, what the fuck? You fuck, nigga. You gay. Shut your gay ass. Bitch, this nigga gay. And then y'all want to make posts all about it and shit. Meanwhile, we find out y'all, you and your homegirl just ate each other pussy. Shit, we like, well, shit, oh, uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm, I don't got nothing going on today. You know what I'm saying? You have to live for yourselves. Don't live to, to, to tear somebody else down, man, or bring about somebody else's downfall. You guys, we all have to live here together, man. Um... And this is, this is one of those conversations that I really need to plug the mics up for. And we need to have this conversation in a room full of people because I think there is some great dialect that can come from this. This is a, a, a very healing conversation that I believe could move the masses, man, and get us pushed and turned into um, a direction, man, where we start to understand instead of weaponize, demonize, um, accuse, um, emasculate, um, degrade, we have to get to a situation, man, where we can sit, speak, and be heard. It's your boy DA. That was my vent. That's the queen. I just want to talk. Y'all be smooth.